What do you think about Eli Lilly this morning? Okay, look, I think Eli Lilly, there's a lot of misinformation that's out there about it. Yeah, obviously, uh, it had some dollar problems and Cialis went off patent. But the two things that matter to me are the weight loss drug is off to a fast start. And then it looks like the the FDA wants to accelerate their Alzheimer's drug. Uh, I think the Alzheimer's drug, if it does work, will be the biggest drug in history. So I I felt that the number was really good. We sold some stock for uh, my charitable trust. We talk about that today when we have our club meeting at 12. But uh, the reason why this stock isn't down big is because of that one line about the Alzheimer's. The work I do with the uh, Brain Foundation, American Migraine Foundation, tells me that this is the big one. And then, and then finally, we've got Paramount Global this morning with its earnings. Some folks worried about just the slowdown in the number of new subscribers to uh, its streaming service. And then we're going to be hearing from Warner Brothers Discovery this afternoon. And there's lots to talk about there uh, between the cancellation of Batgirl, the what seems like a report that says that HBO Max and Discovery Plus will finally become one app. What do you make of it? Well, I mean, I think we're all tired of watching things at home. We don't mind going out. Uh, I was surprised Paramount's down even more because I think it's a well-known story. Uh, They did beat the number. Uh, It's a very hated stock in a very hated group. So it's just there's nothing you can do. Watch AMC. I mean, AMC goes up pretty much every day off of Paramount. So there's a winner. Uh, But it looks like to be Adam Aaron, not Bob Backish.